Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Camilla Cabello and Austin Kevich. All right, so let's see how this turns out for them. We're going to do the moon cards since we had a full moon yesterday. Let's see. What do we have for these two? We have it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So that is the energy between the two of them. So something's going on here. Ooh, expect powerful change here. Luck is on your side. You are good enough. And work through your fears. Nice. So some purple here and pink. So that could be crown chakra or third eye so we have the new moon eclipse the new moon in sagittarius new moon in scorpio and full moon in virgo so those might be some of the signs that these two have in their chart so let's look here and let's get some more on these two and see what happens with them I don't know if they're still together. Yeah, they seem to be working right now. So that's their current energy. What are their fears here? Hmm, somebody might be kind of standoffish towards the other. Let's see, what is the issue here involving this? Hmm, maybe it has to do about long-term commitment or long-term financial stability. What is the motivation between these two? What is the motivation between them? Hmm. One of them might be a Capricorn or there is... Hmm. Maybe some... Controlling or possessive. We do have the star, so it could be that and this is somebody's wish fulfillment here. Could be just that they're in the public eye. Hmm. What's in the recent past here for them? Well, they seemed pretty happy maybe going through that honeymoon phase when they first got together. Yeah, somebody's not feeling it any longer though. Let's see with the Five of Pentacles. Is uh, somebody may have financial problems or feeling out in the cold, maybe that cold feeling, that aloofness, not really giving a whole lot. What's in the near future here? Mm, a crossroads. Somebody's feeling not sure which way to go here. And this might be just having to do with some type of toxicity between the two of them. Maybe something's happened here. Why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? It has to do with their union, their love here. What's the internal take on this? Very passionate new beginning for them. What's the external then? What is the outside forces? Maybe one's giving more to the other. Could possibly have to do with money. Hmm. Something's coming forward or there's some envy here. Might be that somebody's showing that they're envious of the other because of the money they bring in. Hmm. Might be some secrets. Maybe that is the secret that they're envious of the other's money or income. But they might be coming across that they're a team player and working together on this. Hmm. 
What don't they see coming? What don't they see coming? Hmm. Ten of Swords. There might be some type of betrayal here. Why is the Ten of Swords here? That's somebody stabbing somebody in the back. Mm, King of Swords. So this looks like this is a um, soulmate, perhaps. A divine union of some sort here with the Queen and King of Swords. So they are very much matched, but it looks like this King of Swords may have betrayed this Queen of Swords here. Forcing her to walk away. That's what they don't see coming. So what is the outcome then, please, Spirit? Hmm. Page of Swords. Somebody is watching the other. Maybe what they're doing while they're gone. Maybe having somebody watch, getting knowledge, finding out things. Maybe there was some communication about this. What is this Page of Swords? Mm, heartbreak. So it looks like the outcome, there's somebody is watching the other to see what kind of behavior there is and it's pretty heartbreaking for one of them here. What is this Three of Swords? Why is it Three of Swords here? Yeah, this is somebody that is in their head and feeling bound or feeling kind of trapped here. What's the Eight of Swords about? Yeah, about the future. So somebody's very concerned about how the future is going to play out with this. What's the Two of Wands? Do I stay? Do I go? Mm, there might be a king of cups somewhere along the line that this person is looking at for their future and it may not be with this king of swords the king of cups is here somebody that is willing to come in to really love her i feel like the way she's looking for yeah she's the empress she's showing up as the empress she's learning something here She's learned some types of lessons here about trust, about self-love, and not feeling like less than. Yeah. And this may have been happening when she was at work, or when she was busy working. And with this devil here, this kind of goes all together with this something isn't right something's toxic here unless it unless he's just a capricorn let's get some more messages here about this what can you tell me about the situation between these two, please, with Camilla and is it Kevin? No, Austin, sorry. boundaries violated and dominance here and that kind of really goes in goes in sides with that devil um which at the end of the world uh, an important end and a new beginning so i don't feel this is going to last your sensuality is beautiful so she is very beautiful and maybe there was somebody else that was very tempting a time for spirit to just meditate and contemplate the fairy of the green witch which is the natural world needs you 
and your songs, I feel, and strangely lonely, holding on too tight, and it might have to do with some pentacles, because that kind of reminds me of pentacles. Maybe this was to do with clout or recognition for somebody here, maybe to get a name. But since um, I didn't really get the name out correctly, I'm just going to put those back and ask again for Camilla and Austin, please. <laughs> Camilla and Austin. If they're meant to come out, they will. Kevin and Austin. Any more messages for Kevin and Austin? Let's see. We have two little witches. Magical space clearing time. So somebody needs to spear some to clear some space. <laughs> I just heard a knock at the door, but that's my neighbor's door. And then we have faceless ghosts at a haunted and a haunted girl, ghost people. So somebody here might be seeing, um, getting in touch with spirit here by meditation, connecting with spirit. We have three witchy sisters, the power of three. So there might be three people involved here and only one has their eyes open so I kind of feel like there might be a couple other people involved here lady with the brooch egg ancient wisdom so I do feel like this is definitely um, connecting with spirit and getting some wisdom and ancient wisdom at that. Violet Angel Breaking Dawn. So I kind of feel like there's sadness here with her. I'm just kind of going day by day. With the number five there, I kind of feel like it's change and stability. There's some conflict when it comes to things here. Yeah. What other numbers do we have? Seven, reflection, assessment, knowledge, and spiritual. And we have seven, reflection, assessment. That's what I said. We have it twice here. And we have number three, which is creativity, groups, and growth. And I feel like she's learned something here about things that maybe have gone a little south on her. While she was working, things were going on behind the scenes. So don't be surprised if they are to break up soon. Uh, that's what I see as what we don't see coming is somebody's going to find out there was a betrayal. And I feel it was this King of Swords that was the one betraying. And I feel like it has a lot to do with feeling kept by her because of the money situation she was making money maybe he wasn't making as much and there may have been some type of jealousy or envy here and somebody the outcome here is that somebody is going to be paying attention to something here and whatever they discover it's going to be heartbreaking and thinking about the future, someone else comes to mind. The King of Cups, somebody that wants to love her. So there you have it. That's what I have for them. Whether things change later on because of decisions that get made, well, time will tell for that, but this is what is going on in the energy right now, so. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please like, share, and subscribe. And give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And we will see you all next time. Take care. Stay blessed. Later.